In this video, I'll go through some examples of calculating surface areas and volumes of solid shapes, and also talk about scale factors for area and volume. Let's start with this example here. I've got a right prism that has a triangle base, and we need to figure out what this unknown length is x. We use the Pythagorean theorem because we've got a right triangle and x is the hypotenuse, 6 is one of the sides and 8 is the other side, this one here. So x squared is equal to 8 squared plus 6 squared which is 64 plus 36, so x will be the square root of 64 plus 36, which comes to 100, which is the perfect square. So the square root of that is 10. Uh, does it seem reasonable that that would be 10? Yeah, looking at the diagram, it does. It's this, this distance here has got to be longer than this distance. And this distance is eight, so it seems reasonable that this would be 10. Then for the surface area, we're gonna have two triangles, the one we can see on the top, and then there'll be a, a one that's identical on the bottom, that's hidden. And then we've got three rectangles, the one that we can see on the front, this one that's hidden on the back left, and this one that's hidden on the back right. So the surface area will be the two triangles, two times a half times eight times six, the rectangle at the front, the rectangle at the back left, the rectangle at the back right. Calculate all that out and then use additivity to add the pieces together and we get 168 square meters. Uh, volume, it's actually a little easier to calculate the volume. It's just the base, area of the base times the height. The base, remember, is the triangle for this, for this prism. Uh, so the area of the base will be half times eight times six, and then the height is five. So then the volume comes to 120. Okay, let's look at this pyramid. And I've, I've colored this side, just so that uh, when you look at this, you'll think of this yellow side as being visible. Okay, it's, it's at the front of the pyramid on the right-hand side. This, this side as well is also visible. And then everything else is hidden. Okay, so we've got a, a triangle on the, on the back that's hidden, another triangle on this back that's hidden, and then the base is completely hidden as well because the, the pyramid's kind of tilted so the, so the vertex up here is pointing towards us. Okay, what do we need to do to figure out the surface area? Well, if we need to calculate the area of this triangle, we're gonna need to know what its height is from the middle of its base up to the vertex up here. That's known as the slant height. Okay, it's not the same as this distance over here, which is from this corner up to the vertex. It's actually a little bit shorter distance only goes from here up to the top, not from out here. So we're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem with the right triangle that has a right angle here. Hypotenuse is 10. And then the, the slant height is one of the lengths. And then this is the other length. And that's, that's half of 12 or six. Okay, so the slant height squared plus six squared is equal to 10 squared. If I rearrange that, I'm gonna have that the, the, the slant height squared is equal to 10 squared minus six squared. So in other words, the slant height is the square root of 10 squared minus six squared, which is the square root of 100 minus 36. 100 minus 36 is 64 which is a nice perfect square, square root of that is eight. Now that we have the slant height, we can figure out the 
area of each of the triangles. They're identical, each triangle. Okay, a base of 12 and a slant height of eight. So each triangle has a surface area of half times 12 times eight. And then the base is 12 times 12. So the total surface area, adding all those pieces together, will be 12 times 12 plus four times the areas of each triangle, which is a half times 12 times eight. Add all that together and we get 336 square meters. Finally, let's uh, figure out the volume. So for the volume, the volume of a pyramid is the area of the base times the height times a third. What's the height of the pyramid? It's not 10. Okay, that was from one of the corners here up to the top. It's not even the slant height, okay, which is from, from the middle of one of the sides up to the top. The height of the pyramid is from in the middle of the base up to the top, which is gonna be less than the slant height. So it's gonna be a number less than eight. So we need to create a triangle to figure out what that is. And the triangle will be a right triangle with a right angle here and then one leg will come out this way, which will be six meters, and the other leg will go up to the top, and that will be the height that we're trying to figure out, and then the hypotenuse will be actually the slant height eight. Okay, so putting that into an equation, we're gonna have that the height is equal to the square root of eight squared minus six squared, which is 64 minus 36, which comes to 28. Unfortunately, 28 is not a perfect square. But I'm not gonna calculate what it is as a decimal just yet, because if I do, I might get some rounding errors when I calculate the volume. So I'm gonna leave it as, as, a, as, a, as a number that's, that's accurate. And one way to do that is to write this as 28 is four times seven, and then the square root of four is two, so I can pull two outside of the square root sign, and I'll end up with two root seven. Okay, and then finally the volume will be one third times the area of the base, which is 12 times 12, times that height, which was two root seven. If I calculate that out, I'll get 96 root 7. And then finally, I'll express this as a decimal. Comes to 254 cubic meters. Okay, in the next part of the video, I'll go through a couple more examples of surface area and volume calculations. And then I'll also briefly touch on scale factors for areas and volumes.